Hey, what's going on YouTube? I'm really excited. Today I'm going to show you my cargo trailer conversion into a camper. Uh, this is the part one of it and I'm going to show you all the work that went into basically tearing it apart, insulating it, insulating the bottom of this thing, putting in a wood stove, and then finishing the interior. Uh, the next step of the process will be a bed, a desk, uh, a little bit of a kitchen, a sink. Uh, but for now we're going to focus on part one. I got to get some content up on the channel. It's been a while, uh, so I'm really excited. I've put a lot of work into this and I've had people fly from all over the country to help me with this. A lot of old friends uh, and there's a lot of, lot of beautiful people in this video. My family, all of them have come out here. Some of them came out here a couple times uh, to help me with it. And it's been a really team, well, it's been a team effort and I'm excited to kind of show off uh, almost the finished product. And I think you guys are gonna like it. We got we got some help here, John Cambridge, from um, the Philadelphia Insectarium. He's gonna help us with this trailer. And uh, what we're doing now, we're just stripping everything out uh, to get a good look at the frame. Strip it down and, and see what it looks like naked. All right, you got that tape measure? Yeah, I'm gonna go grab it. Oh yeah. We're really just clearing the hell out of this thing now. Gotta get this tire off. Out all the old insulation. We're gonna take out these floors. Uh, we just measured everything, um, and uh, you're saying we're gonna put um, quarter-inch plywood? Yeah. <laughs> professionals over here. Look at that. Look we at found that. A pen. Huh? We found a sign. This is looking good. Here we are, Mr. Cambridge. Here. We just went to Home Depot. We got all the wood, all the tools. Tools. The tools. Tools are expensive, by the way, guys. Uh, but yeah, we got a whole truck full of. Of goodies in here. Anyone works from Milwaukee, you know, send us uh, <laughs> send us some coupons, please. Appreciate it. I got you popping the window of your little face in there. All right, starting at the bottom, he's gonna tap these screws in. Okay. Okay. Like I was pushing the wrong one. Right. Uh, push the right one. Yeah. Can you hand me the wander Ow. 
burn. Good burn. Check out the progress so far. Now we gotta tear all this out. This is looking good. Hello. Hello. Seal's working on the, the heater over here. How's that looking? Oh yeah, we got the windows in. Check this out. Two windows. We wear that brush out. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, man. oh wow. All right. Well. Look at this place. Joel. How much is rent? <laughs> So you can see our progress. We reinforced the floors. Got the floors in. Oh, we're actually about to start putting in insulation. You can kind of see what this back door, we got pink insulation and we got, this is actually gonna be the floor. We're gonna make that look nice. And uh, we got some extra help here today. Oh yeah. Of course. You know, plenty of headspace still, and that's that's good. You know, a little window here. How about that, huh? How about that? Sweet. Strong fan base, a small fan base, but strong. Loyal. Very loyal. Yeah, very. So this is John Cambridge here. He really, Hello. you know, listen guys, if you're ever in Philadelphia, you gotta go see the Insectarium. And I heard about that place. Yeah, John what built a, it. What a gem. He's built it probably four or five four. times over. And just can't, can't be satisfied. It's always under construction, and this is what he's done in four days, three days. Ah, Joel, this is, this is teamwork here, man. This, this is good. This is, this is good. So we got the patina look, reclaimed cedar, and uh, the cedar wood is from Idaho, and I think it's old enough that it's actually old growth cedar. So as sad as it is that we no longer have those old growth cedar trees in the state, you know, now the trailer has them. So that's kind of nice. <laughs> now the trailer has them. It's inherited just a little bit. And we can check out the fireplace over here. This is a uh, wonder board. Flame retardant. That's good. That's what we're going to need. This is a big ass stove. Yeah. Now a lot of people think you need a small stove, but you really need the biggest one possible. <laughs> Otherwise you're going to be cold. <laughs> and I don't want to be cold. I want to be able to walk around in this trailer, you know, in my... Birthday, my suit. birthday right. suit. Yep. You might have to. And uh, yeah. don't worry, the windows are above are chest fire. level. Yeah. You know what it's fine for right now? <laughs> this. <laughs> Let's get that. Sh right. Joel. You want to do it, Joel? Yeah. Put that shit in there. Whoa. All right. I want to see the smoke coming out the top. Well, we got to get a fire going. Well then, let's get a fire going. Gentlemen, 
This is this is a wood burning stove. Time to use it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> is that log gravel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just gonna steal this shit. Can we get some little stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got smoke. Oh, the smoke's smoke. going now. Dude, is there a, is there a flu in here? Does it even have a flu? No. Okay, so it's a straight I love, old... you, I love that you got this on it, too. That's nice, right? Yeah. I want to make sure the smoke is going the right way. Oh, well, it will. Yeah, it up. really doesn't have a... Oh, where's the handle? Oh, wait, no, the handle's right behind you. On the... Here's the cuteness. Yeah. Seeds. Oh, we can't throw this in there. Seeds? Oh, we got some flames now. See yeah, that? look at that. Oh my god! Look at here! Guys, this is better than the full moon! <laughs> This, wow. this is, uh, this is on the way to Alaska. Put yeah. my cast iron on there. You can actually cook on this. Oh, yeah? yeah. Is that hot? Oh, is that what this is for? Yeah, that's for cooking. Yeah. Dude, you can cook on this thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if people were knocking the wood stove early on in the design, but, uh, who the hell knocked it? <laughs> <laughs> who knocked it? I don't know. Not get it. Seriously, it's heavy. You want to just use propane, but <laughs> that, that okay, okay. So People online, the haters. <laughs> the haters. <laughs> So right away, you notice we got the wood stove installed. We got the aluminum backing, so it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. We got all the walls, all the ceilings in. Uh, we still, we're gonna take some aluminum, we're gonna clean this up here. I got the stove bolted into the floor. And so that's not going anywhere. We got the chimney here. I do have to uh, screw that in still, but uh, this is looking phenomenal. And then, of course, uh, today we're going to install insulation that's going to go from underneath so it doesn't take away from the headspace. You got it all the way through? Yeah, but I'm not, I, I kind of clipped it on the side. Yeah, right on the side, right on the corners. Like, I'm not putting it all the way through the whole chunk, just oh. like kind of pinching the sides of it. Biggest thing, this stove is fully put in, and now... We are working on the brake lights because gotta be legal. Gotta have the lights. And uh, I built this thing so it's easy to get to. Uh, you can see here we're rewiring these lights. Uh, and I'll show you where the wires are coming out of. Because of all the walls and stuff I put in, we actually have to run it underneath the trailer. Not a problem. Check that out going through the smurf tubing uh, and then that runs along the bottom of the trailer 
And then that comes out to the front. I did yesterday. I do. We got Samantha. Are you filming? And Cindy. He is filming. Coating the interior guy? here. Yeah, there's sound guy. That's why he's talking. All to himself. Looking good. Billy the master electrician. And what is that device there? Uh, this is the piece that plugs in to the truck, lets all the lights turn on. It tells them which ones anyway. The floor is going in. It's all painted. The stove is cleaned up. The windows are open so it can dry. Looks beautiful. And the lights are on. <laughs> So here we go, this is the reclaimed cedar wood and we did finish it with a little bit of a clear coating uh, just to protect it and keep that color in. And that's looking really nice. I'm really happy with it. This is the door, it locks from the inside which is, which is a big deal especially if you're inside of it. When it closes up you can kind of see how that, that just stays flush. You can see the reflectix poking out from behind it, the whole cabin is uh, layered in reflectix. This is aluminum here. This is a nice corner uh, and I'm gonna put uh, a little shelf up there But I I like the armadillo silver look that was actually Carmen's idea Here's the chimney and of course the wood stove everyone's talking about it a lot of people think it's too big I think it's just right uh, Check this out. It's actually burning right now. You can kind of take a look at that. Whoa Definitely don't want to open that because that's what happens, but it definitely proves my point that uh, it's airtight and there's no smoke coming out, so I should be safe. I will be putting in a CO2 detector uh, to wake me up before I can't wake up. <laughs> uh, of course, double windows. These are Energy Star windows. They lock from the inside. Very safe, very secure. Some bug nets here. Windows on both sides. Uh, the ceiling, again, reclaimed cedar fencing. I use the wider panels for the most part up top here. I kind of kept the old busted up dented up trailer I don't need people to know what's on the inside uh, and the wiring here we redid all the wiring uh, we actually ran wiring from underneath the trailer that was a pain in the ass Billy my sister's husband is a master electrician he actually came out here and, and helped me with it and you can see we got that smurf tube coming on down here um, and it's just this is a really kind of a work of art um, the door opens, of course, right into the trailer. And here's the chimney from the outside. Oh yeah, it's pumping. Well guys, thanks for watching and as always, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we're really close to monetization and I think we're going to get it here in the next couple of months. There's a lot of big news. Uh, happening a lot of new content a lot of different types of content always outdoor focus of course But this trailer is actually going to play a huge role in the next six seven months of the channel So really exciting things Make sure you subscribe make sure you like tell your friends about it It's gonna be a very good year